you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. I just noticed that my GoPro battery's been charging all night. It's already at 49% within five minutes of being on. So it looks like I'm gonna be into more GoPro batteries again. Unless this to 360 says with the Ace Pro, then you know, we'll be all right. Truck's running good, still got my oil pressure gauge is still working. So that's good. Ordered the proper knock sensors. So we'll do that during the week on the hoist at work where you can get under the damn thing, which will make it a lot easier. Yeah. Right now, we are cruising oh, frig, down Confederation Street here. We're going to head ourselves through Watford and we're going to keep going just past that. And if you're from Ontario, my neck of the woods, you know where it's next after that. Yes, we are going to Strath Vegas. Friggin' right we are. I bought something off Marketplace that we have to go and get. It's a long way to go to get. It is. Oh, look at another new house going up. A lot of these farmers are uh, putting houses up now on their property. If I was a farmer and I had some extra room, I'd be doing the same thing. They're probably doing it for the kids. Because as you know, in Ontario, as you know, in Ontario, that's all I can say to that. When are my American friends going to tell them to take over Canada so it all becomes one giant America? I'm sorry, I know that doesn't sound Canadian proud, but we haven't been much to been proud about lately, Canada. Come on, let's really think about that. Unless you're a wealthy person, then it doesn't matter to you. But if you're a blue-collar person like I am, Canada hasn't been very nice to us lately. End of discussion. That's all I'm going to say. But on a good note, I'm happy still. I'm happier right now. I haven't done videos in a while, and I've been doing a little bit more videos, and it's actually been putting me in a better mood. You know why? Because I like doing videos for you guys. It kind of puts you in a better mood a little bit. It gives you something to look forward to instead of just sitting on the couch. Plus, if I'm going to lose some weight, i got to get off the couch and do some shit. And stop eating, of course. Yesterday, it was like 60-something degrees out or 16 or 15 or whatever the hell it was and today it's 39 out so it's, it's it's cold it feels cold today and it's still above freezing for fe february but it feels colder than next so it spoils you you get one or two nice days and you're spoiled i'm gonna spin you around here and let you have a gander and we'll see you in strath vegas yeah. Well, there we go. In Strathroy, got what we came for. And yes, I got another box of Christmas lights. I'd show you, but I'm kind of driving right now. What I gotta do for sure is figure out a way to give this battery some life because I am almost out of battery already. How you doing? I haven't been to Strath Vegas in a long time. Last weekend, I guess I was here. But besides that, I haven't been here in a long time. We're gonna take a ride by the old radiator shop here and see if a buddy of mine, Marty McFly, is freaking working today. Because one never knows does one. One never knows about nothing. Frig. I sure don't know about nothing. One thing about Strathroy is they got some nice parks. They got a big park in the middle of the city and it's huge. It runs all the way across down to the other side. It's, it's not bad, eh? It's got some trails and stuff. You can't really go wrong there. Victoria Park. How you doing? One man's treasure. How you doing, one man's treasure? Ah, yeah, there's a big water tower. This is the first time I've been to Strath Vegas where there hasn't been a car in front of me cocking me over. So that's kind of nice. 
Oh, I think I got a cord for my GoPro in that freaking case right there. I'll have to pull a battery out though, because I think when you plug in your USB charger into a GoPro, it cocks the battery over. So if you're gonna plug your GoPro in, take your battery out, it'll still record, but it won't overcharge your battery. Because I think what happens is they get overcharged to when you're plugged into a USB and it's recording at the same time. Or it overheats it or something like that. I don't know. There's definitely quite a few flaws with the old GoPro, I find. One is overheating. Two is the battery suck. Three, the night vision's horrible. That's why I want an Insta 360 Pro because I heard that they're really good at low level light. Not at dark dark, but low level light. They're a lot better than the GoPro. That's about it though. I go no. That motorhome has been sitting there for years. That used to be a car lot over there. And now it doesn't look like he's selling anything. You still got his motorhome and Cadillac sitting there. Don't know what to tell you. It's just strange. Marty, you better be here. If not, you can't say I never try to stop by. I'm not looking for you today. I'm not calling you today. If you're not at the shop, you're shit out of luck, Captain. You might have moved too. I have no idea. I haven't stopped by to see you in ever. I think once. I think you're down here. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, no, I'm right. This is where it is. Let's see what's going on here. Is the gates open? Ah! Ah, I don't think he's here anymore. That's where he used to be. Maybe he did move. I don't know where he is now, Captain. I'll pull over for a minute and we'll look it up. And I'll find my cord for you as well. All right, it works. So there you go. You can actually use a GoPro without a battery as you plug it in. Probably keeps the camera cooler too. Radiators, Strathroy, Ontario. All right, we found him. He did move. Way in the other end of town. So let's go get him. Careful, put it in dry first, Bill. You know what that tells me? I bought these high expensive batteries too for the extra chargers. They only lasted a year and they hardly hold a charge. Actually, it's turned out to be a beautiful day. It's already up to 44, so it is warming up. So where we need to go is We'll go this way, we'll go by the old shop. I used to run this location over here. Can you see, probably not. If you go way, way back to my videos, you'll see me and Marty sitting where I used to work at Speedy Auto Dicks, right there. I ran that place for a few years. It was all right, but it made you lonely. When you're in the shop by yourself for a long amount of time, it drives you, it gets you a little cuckoo, it does. I screwed my GPS up. It doesn't know where I'm going. Now. I don't even know where I'm going now. It's telling me to turn around again. So maybe it's this old location it's trying to take me to. Well, what the dick? He moved around the corner or something, he did. High Street. I'll be dipped. Good old High Street. I as fuck. Oh, there it is. Holy, he's doing good for himself. Look at the nice new building he's got. He even does rust checking. Oh, he looks like he's closed, Captain. Are you closed, Marty? Frank's sakes. Good for you, bud. Hey, you're doing good. All right, man. Nice place, bud. Well, he stopped to see you. And uh, it's nice to see that most of your vehicles in the lot are Fords. That means they need the most work. So I'm glad you're fixing them Fords up for them people. Well, yeah, I guess you got a few Chevys here. That's not too bad. Let's give him a call. Mr. Bill says, Nice shot, buddy. Looks nice. Well, come on in. What? It, you look like you're closed. I am closed, but I'm here working. Okay, I'll come in. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I was just there, yeah. and it looked like you're closed. The, uh, I, I was looks like it's padlocked, but just open it up and come in the side door. Okay. Just so okay. you just want to let you know. Yeah. Seems like there's a lot of Fords in that parking lot. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm gonna go and visit Marty, and I'll be back. Nice little visit we did. He's got a pretty good crew working there. Henry from Mufflerman's over there helping him out. Holy cow! European car guys there from that other freaking place, and a lot of old faces I haven't seen in a minute. But now that we're done with Strath, oh, they're still building trailers there. Oh no, they're just storing trailers. Or is it the trailer guy? Oh, yeah. I wonder if he wants my trailer. Maybe I'll sell him my trailer. 
Ah, I wonder if there's any trains coming. Ah, meh, meh. Whatever. Mister, how you doing? Ah. So anyways, now we're gonna roll back home. Find out what's going on there. The daughter wanted some money today. I told her I'm not giving her a damn cent until the house is spotless. Always wanting money, these damn kids. She needs to get a job. Get a job and I'll give you some money. Well, we're back home. And here's the box I got for 20 bucks. Four sets of them and four sets of those. Not too bad. Let's check them out. Says they're brand new. Haven't tried them. We got 12 foot lengths here. So these will be good for like little things. They're indoors, so we'll have to put them somewhere where they don't get too wet, if you know what I'm saying. So they'd be like good for in a window and stuff like that. So they work, no problem. Decent. I'm not gonna test them. I'm not worried about it, they'll be fine. These are indoor outdoor minis. Oh yeah. Decent. So we'll walk these to the back and put them in the collection. Ah, what happened? You can get rid of that metal in that trailer too. I'm tired of looking at it. I have so much crap in this garage. I need to clean up in here. This is ridiculous. A little addition to the Christmas light display for next year so far. I guarantee it's still gonna grow. But anyways, that's what I did today. Took a little trip to Strath Vegas, picked up some more lights, and now I'm gonna find something else to do. So hopefully everybody's having a good day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification. Glad you're all here, and we'll see you on the next one.